Stuart, well done into round two. Tell us about that performance, your thoughts on it. Yeah, um, obviously started off flying colours, obviously for, uh, first frame, 100 break, can't get any better than that. Um, Dave showing his class, obviously come back at me just as strong, if not stronger, to obviously really not miss a ball to go 3-1 up. Um, obviously the break come at a good time, regrouped, um, and just sort of just try to be patient and sort of slow the slow the sort of frames down and, and just sort of try and win no matter what and uh, won a couple of frames to draw level and then sort of open shoulders again and, and made a sort of couple of breaks um, to sort of obviously be a 6-3 six, six, lead. Uh, obviously this morning very nervy, uh, didn't really settle for a couple of frames but once I sort of drew our mini session 1-1 one, one, um, it sort of settled me down, went at all, had a talk to myself and uh, then obviously I think won the last three frames with a 50 plus in each, so nice to get over the line. What did you say to yourself? What was a little pep talk? No, I, I remember walking through uh, just into the arena and there's a there's a, the World Championship trophy, and I'm like, that's why you're here. <laughs> get like, get yourself like playing, and uh, just obviously helped, just helped at that moment. I suppose that's, that's, that's it, isn't it? There's so much branding and picture the trophies in and around the arena that at times can just really make you switch to focus and, and then you're back into the arena and it is, it's time to deliver. Yeah, like I say, I felt nervous. It ain't easy being sort of six free up overnight. Uh, didn't sleep well. Walking it, walking to the venue this morning, felt a bit tired. <laughs> um, even practicing beforehand, sort of felt a bit sluggish and uh, went out there and obviously they potted the first long red. Uh, made, I, I think he only made 30 odd, um, but it sort of put me on the back foot and I, I just sort of, once I won the second frame of the day, it sort of, like say, settled me and uh, sort of went from strength to strength. It's, it's funny you said you were a bit nervous and perhaps a bit tired because we saw some footage of you chatting to Dave before you went out to the arena yesterday. He was sort of whistling, you were laughing, you seemed really relaxed. Yeah, no, like I say, me and Dave are good friends off the table, so um, yeah, obviously he was talking about his uh, walkout music. Obviously, I heard him say that he might have changed it. I think after he beat uh, Matthew Stevens, he said he might have had a new new song. So it was just chatting about that, really, just general chit chat. So relax off the table, playing pretty well on it as well. You change your tip before this tournament. How does it play? Looked all right in that opening frame, but 108 break. Yeah, no, obviously, um, I sort of changed the tip. It, it probably took me, I don't know, what, 15 minutes to sort of reshape it and everything. Uh, obviously, I left the table, my practice table, where it was, and I cleared up the rest of the frame. So I knew straight away it, it was a good tip to, to have on. And like I say, got out there, 100 first frame, and that's it. It's obviously settled and uh, obviously played nice. You mentioned 6 through overnight, turning up today, so a bit nervous, a bit tired. But how important is it to, to start quick today to make sure you sort of maintain that distance? between yourselves. I know you said Dave won that first frame, but you maintain that distance, it grew bigger, and then of course got over the line. Yeah, no, that's maybe probably the, the downfall is trying to keep that distance. It's like, okay. just start again. This, yeah. this is like nil-nil, let's start again. And uh, you can like try and try and sort of protect a lead. You've got to go out and still win four frames. So I, I've done that in the past and, and maybe probably learnt from it. And uh, like you say, you, you sort of, we're playing, I'm trying to, it's like a better seven to me. I'm trying to win four frames sort of, be, sort of before he gets to four. So mm. just got to be in the right frame, frame set, frame, uh, mindset, really. Yeah. Mark Allen or Fan Zhengji up next. What are your thoughts on either of those two? Yeah, obviously Mark's been player of the season. Obviously he's up to, what, seeded three for this tournament. Um, he's obviously one of the favourites. So um, since Christmas, he ain't maybe probably played as, as good. So, um, yeah, expecting a good game no matter what. I think he'll be uh, very tough to beat. Um, and like I say, he's made probably under he, he should have got his hands on that trophy. I, I sort of respect him as a, as a player and, and as a person. So, um, yeah, we're going to have three days of fun and, and I'm sure it'll be top quality snooker. I was going to say, you're not playing till Thursday. What you got planned? Uh, I'm going home straight away. Um, chill out. If, it, if the weather's nice, I might have a game of golf with my dad. Um, I've missed my boys' uh, football game today, so I'll be straight on the phone, see how he got on. Um, but uh, yeah, just, just chill out with the family, obviously a few hours practice each day and, and come back up on Wednesday. Well, I hope you'll have one. Enjoy the few days off and we'll see you Thursday. Lovely, thanks.